All right, guys, welcome back, man. Welcome back. This has been long awaited. It's your boy KBG, aka Create CR8, here. And this is my second channel, and we are kicking off a little mini series. Long story short, I got in contact with a guy who's doing the EFL, you know, league on the PS2, Madden 08 PS2. And I decided to contact him, like, hey, I wanted to do, do a little mini series and get my prospect into the EFL. So this was what this series is about. As we run down, you know, the drills, this episode will be the, like the drills and, you know, team reveal and a little first in the first game. You feel me? And, you know, he's doing even though he's doing an 08, I feel like, you know, the reason I chose this is NCAA 11. The reason I chose this because, you know, the older uh, 06, 07, 08. And if you play, you know, personal offense, you got to play, even though you on offense, you got to play the defense, too. Unlike on here, you play offense, you don't have to play defense. So the games will go by a lot quicker because I don't have to play both sides of the ball. You feel me? So um, that's the reason I chose this. As you can see, we're trying to earn that scholarship. We are definitely trying to earn that scholarship. We are putting this DB on skates, and luckily he made the tackle right there. But a little backstory about this kid, man. You just a late bloomer. You know what I mean? You a late bloomer. We all, you know, had those players that, you know, back, football wasn't his first love. You feel me? So it won't be no GTA cutscenes, but a late bloomer, basketball wasn't his first love. And, you know, coach said, hey, why just just give it a shot. You feel me? Just give it a shot. His dad was a pro, spent about 10 years in the league. And, you know, the kid decided to give it a shot. His senior year, he didn't start playing football until his senior year. And you can see the wheels, man. 4'4", four, 8", four, and a 40-yard dash being that size, that big, running this fast, bro. 4'3", four, now 4'11", four, like kind of 4'3", late 4'3s, high 4'4s. And that's blazing for a running back his size, man. That is definitely blazing. These are the stats that we are rocking with now. As we go from freshman to sophomore, junior, you know, if he decided to declare for the EFL draft, you know, these stats will be improving over the years. You feel me? So don't judge, man. We are coming in at a four-star prospect. Now, we can go anywhere we want in the country. And a lot of these teams that you are seeing, this is based off the 2010-2011 season. So Nebraska at number nine, yeah, that's weird seeing up there. But a lot of these teams, you scratch your head like Oregon State at number 19, you scratching your head like uh, this This is based off the 2010-2011 season. You feel me? So we're coming in at a four-star four star prospect. I can't even talk. And I kind of did my research on this a little bit as far as what school needed what. And I don't want to go to a school where I'm automatically, you know, you automatically the starter. So you feel me? So one thing in particular that I decided that I wanted to go with Man, it, it's, you know, it's two seniors, so that's they're going to be leaving, and it's two juniors. So, you know, in two in, next season, it's going to be, you know, the prime my prospect and two other juniors. So, it's like this school is a perfect situation. They're in a Power 5 conference. And I had trouble finding the team at first, so that's why you usually don't see me picking a team right now. But I had to go reorder and, like, did I pass it or not? But um, this, this team is – you know what I mean? In the Midwest. And I feel like it's a perfect opportunity for your boy Boyd to, you know, blossom into that, you know, next great, you know, back at this school. You feel me? And the school we're going to is Kansas State. Yes, they got us finished 11th in the Big 12. They got us finished 11th, bro. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. So we're here to come here to change the program. And the only other running back I think of is Darren Sproles. Now, these are the rosters I'm working with. Not a lot of people going to ask how I get these, bro. Um, I will leave a link in the description. A lot of these ratings, I had to go and edit myself. Yes, because a lot of these ratings that you're seeing, they wasn't like this, like the auto speed, awareness. Like Trey Lance, even though Nelson Quarter State is not in it, he did have this some research. He did have an offer from um, Air Force. We didn't have an offer, but they was looking at him, so that's why I decided to create him and add him on there. Other than that, man, a lot of these ratings, I had to go and edit myself. A lot of the, you know, equipment and the way they look, 
<laughs> it was time consuming, man. I did this kind of like months ago, though. And I got to say, man, it, it's, it feels good, man. It definitely feels good that I get to do this little mini series on my second channel, man. And don't, I forgot about the revamp series, man. The revamp series, Mentor Brothers, it, it's, it's, it's still in the works. But I'm working on um, Defense End Prospect, you know, after the Mentor Brothers are done and over with. So I'm working behind the scenes on that. Yeah, these just run down of the rosters. A lot of you guys already know that's in the league, but, you know, I had to change the, you know, from, you know, retro, sophomore, or to a senior. I had to do all that, man. Everything I had to do. <laughs> you feel me? So this is scheduled working with UCLA, Missouri State, Iowa State, UCF, Nebraska, Kansas, Baylor, Oklahoma State, Texas, Missouri, Colorado, and North Texas. Now, before I get into commentating, I'm aiming about six to seven, you know, episodes, you know, per year, like freshman year, six or seven episodes, sophomore year, six to seven, junior year, six to seven. So I'm, I'm aiming about 20, 21 episodes. And that's the, that's the episode. That's, you know, how many videos for this series I'm aiming for it. But let's get straight into it, man. And let's see what your boy Lee Corso, let's see who he picked, man. Let's definitely see who he picks. Here come the Wildcats. The Bruins have been looking forward to this matchup all week. Kirk, what are your thoughts on this game? UCLA comes into this one with a good passing attack, and they have a difference maker lining up at wide receiver. In fact, Lee, I think he's one of the best receivers in all of college football. Kirk, great minds think alike. I love UCLA in this game. Man, appreciate y'all guys still tuning in if you made it this far, man. It's 7-7 ball game. We are taking on UCLA. Look at what your boy boy can do on his first college carry, and that goes for pretty much nothing, man. Actually, negative one yard on Rush. Another handoff, man. That's that's more like it. That's what we that's what this kid came to do, man. Here at Kansas State. Another handoff, man. Oh, he gone. He gone. He is gone. Y'all, look at the speed. Look at the breakaway speed. Yo, you could only bottle this kid up for so long until he explode like he just did. Great blocking up front. He dove and missed a tackle. And after that, it would just... You get motivation for that. That's crazy. It's like so much they took out as the years went on as, as far as releasing NCAA games, man. It's crazy. Oh, nice tap. Oh, oh, I'm telling you, y'all see what he did, man. He can take it to the house at any given time. Second and seven right here. Zone coverage. And we throw it out to the flat to leaners. And leaners with a first down reception. Let's go. All right, third and inches. It's a little read option right here. I didn't realize that, you know, they had these on these old games. But Thompson, he shows the wheels and he picks up his first down he blitzing bro he blitzing somebody gonna have to be open and right here i don't know why i didn't throw away what a huge mistake i didn't know why they just didn't throw that away but it's second and 26 look at the first down marker up there that's crazy second and 26 only a three-man rush and we get it out to this receiver he picks up a decent game, man. That's going to bring up a 39 play action pass by your boy Thompson. And he throws it and he connects with your boy Brooks. Now, Brooks is, you know, he's going to be counted on this entire season. Play action pass. Leaners with a first and goal grab, man. That catch sets up first and goal. And right here, I can't believe there's nobody out there. And he just dropped it. He, yo, bro, yes. You deserve the whole year, bro. Second and goal. Nice handoff to Boyd. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> really? And just to let your eyes guys know, man, he was out for the rest of the game, man. But, y'all, he showed flashes of what he can do, man. And one episode down, a lot more to go. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all to life. Till next time, I'm gone.